What's good guys, if you want the cheapest and most reliable FIFA 23 coins, make sure you guys check out u7buy.com, save 5% of foot coins, buying with the code DAN, next time you guys want to buy some coins and make your team even better, also if you ever want to sell your FIFA 23 coins, you can go again on the website and sell to them as well in this section right here. Yo YouTube, what's going on? Welcome to another video to the channel, yeah boys, and today we're going to go ahead and review 97 rated Team of the year, Kevin De Bruyne. KDB, yeah, boys. We're looking at a card that's 5'11", high, high, right foot, 4-star skill moves, 5-star weak foot, 85 pace, 94 shooting, 98 dribbling, excuse me, 98 passing, I apologize, 94 dribbling, 81 defending, and 86 physicality. The man has outside the foot shot trait as well, which is very, very nice. Now, the camp style, I'm going to go ahead and give this card, in my opinion, is the shadow chemistry style because we are going to be playing this card as a box to box midfielder we want to boost up that pace as much as possible because similar to like modric 85 pace this card has 85 pace you know kind of a little bit of a red flag at that kdb was going to get much more pace but he didn't so we got to boost it up even more with the shadow chemistry style boost of the defending as well dribbling shooting passing physicality especially with the 95 97 stamina excuse me is already good enough so he's going to be playing with this team right here and in game, KDB is going to be playing in a 4 3 2 1 as a box to box midfielder right next to Yaya Toure. So, we want to see the vibes with KDB. I already left my thoughts on Modric. If you guys haven't seen that video, go ahead and check it out real quick. We want to see if KDB is much better than Modric, the same level, and if he's in that same tier range as Rude Hullet and Sidan. So, we're going to play some division rivals and see the vibes with this KDB. Right, here we go again, number one versus Mamba. He got a decent back line, good midfield, and Messi's okay. Valor's all right, so we're going to see the vibes with this card. What a ball from KDB. Not surprising, man. That's what he does. Neymar couldn't finish. Oh, my goodness. A tackle. Nice heel to heel. Good ball. That was a great... Bro, what the fuck is Neymar doing this game? Feels really good on the ball so far. Good ball to Neymar. Thank you, Neymar finally finishes, man. And great find from KDB right there. KDB. Unlucky. Good interception from the card. Good job getting the ball back. KDB. Clutching it out. Nice. KDB getting the ball. Come on, KDB. Let's go. We move on now, yeah, boys. Nice. Good dribbling. Oh, oof. Oof. What a play. What a play to keep onto the ball and assist Mbappe. KDB doing what he does. What a finish. Oof. Since he has five star weak foot, he can shoot with both feet, man. That was nice and clean. That all started from that KDB pass in the middle, y'all yeah, boys, man. I'm loving the playmaking of this card. Nice. Oh, KDB shot. What a goal, man. This card can finish with ease in the box. You'd love to see that. Good start to the game. Take that lucky goal. Good goal right there from Kevin De Bruyne, y'all boys. Good job. Getting the ball back, KDB. Nah, what a fucking pass. 
How does Mbappe not finish that? Oh, we're gonna get the goal. Deserved. Come on, KDB. Come on, KDB. He moved the goalkeeper. Nice and easy finish. Rage quit. We move on that. All right, guys. So we just finished reviewing Team of the Year. KDB coming around 2.4 on the market by the time I dropped this video. 3.9 on the PC. Comparing this 97 Team of the Year to his 93 Winter Wild Card, which was a pretty good card. It's a plus 8 on the pace, plus 4 on the shooting, plus 3 in the passing, plus 4 on the dribbling, plus 14 on the defending, and minus 13 physicality. So the Winter Wild Cards has way better physicality, and the team in here has better everything. Now, this card with KDB, we had 4 games with the card, 5 goals, and 2 assists. So right off the bat, we're going to talk what's good from the card and what, the, what doesn't work for me. But it's just like 1 or 2 things that doesn't work for me. One of the things that works for me with this card... Is the passing similar to like team of the year modric this card has 99 vision 99 short pass this card can pass with either foot which comes to my next point he has five star weak foot not only can he pass with either foot he can shoot with either foot and that comes into my next point not only can he shoot with both feet his finishing is pretty nice he had five goals in four games 91 finishing for a box-to-box -box midfielder is beyond fire 99 shot power and 97 long shots another thing i like from the card is the attack positioning not only does he have 94 attack positioning his work rates are much much better than modric he has high high work rates he gets into dangerous areas a lot of times and that's what you want from a box-to-box -box midfielder to help you in the attack whenever you need him whenever your attackers are isolated and not getting the best opportunities you need that midfielder to pop in and that's what KDB is good for. So I like that a lot. Everything in the shooting category is fire. Now, the physicality of the card is very, very good as well. The combination of the 84 strength and 83 aggression. Him being 5'11", he feels bulky in the game. But not to the point where he feels clunky in the ball. He feels bulky where he can body off people easily. Dribbling, he feels really solid. He feels very fluid. He doesn't feel like an Mbappe or Neymar either, but he feels very good. One of the best midfielders on the ball, in my opinion, that I've used this year. Another pro from the card is the pace. 87 acceleration, 84 spin speed is good. It's not excellent. It's good. It's good enough. Plus with the shadow chemistry style, I like a lot. Um, probably the only con I could say from this card is that he doesn't have five-star skill moves. So obviously he's a little limited whenever you want to create going forward. But other than that... Everything else is absolutely amazing from the card. He's really, really nice. Really, really, really good. I'm actually surprised that I liked him that much. I thought I wasn't going to because just based, just by looking at the face stats of the card, it's kind of a red flag. But then you look at the in-game stats and then you look at how he performs in-game. You can see he's a top 10 midfielder in the game, no doubt whatsoever. He does have a conversation for being top 5. I don't know about that, like, I don't know if I would put him right now top 5, but he's definitely top 10, no debate whatsoever. So, he gets a thumbs up for me for being fire. And rating-wise for this Team of the Year KDB, 9.5 out of 10. I thought he was very, very good. I don't think he's better than, than Hullet. I don't think he's better than Sidan. But, he's very, very good. So, I'm going to give him a 9.5 out of 10. I was kind of hesitating 9.0 or 9.5. I think 9.5 is safe because he's... One of the best midfielders in the game, no doubt whatsoever. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below of Team of the Year KDB. If you guys tried him out, do you guys think he's really, really good? Is he your favorite midfielder in the game? Let me know. Thank you guys a lot for supporting all the videos. You guys are fired. The next video I will be dropping will be a Team of the Year Bellingham review. Now we're going to see. Is Bellingham better than KDB? That's going to be the real question. So it's been your boy, Dan FIFA, and I'm out. Bye-bye.